Hey everybody, it's Blake with ChannelAndroid.com and today I'm going to do a quick look at the new market. Uh, I'm also going to look at kind of comparing this with the old market for Android, the application market, and the web market, which is kind of up here to the left. So, what have they changed? Let's look at the main page here. You can see you still have the market uh, icon up here on the top. <clears throat> we start off with a featured application. It's just one application. It doesn't swipe, whereas on the old market, you'll see back here, we have the cover flow type action going on where you can kind of scan through the featured applications that they have. The old market, take a quick look, apps, games, and then this section is different depending on what carrier you have um, and if sometimes it's not even branded with a carrier. I believe it used to have a featured section. Uh, or the what you've downloaded, I don't even really remember because I don't think, I don't know if I've ever had a market without the Verizon icon in there. So, uh, there's your old market. You're probably all re very familiar with the way it used to look. Now, let's look at the new one. Okay, first off, I already said we have the featured application. We have apps and games, which are two categories that we saw on the old market. And also, the new categories we have here are books and movies which is something that we've seen in the tablet market already. Uh, I can see that back there in the background. We've got apps, books, movies. Anyway, and then also, of course, on uh, the web application. Um, on the right-hand side, notice that we have more featured content. So we have different color coding here apps and games in green, books and blue, movies and red. So if you look over here on the right, have a book notified by that little blue line on the bar. Red for movie. This one doesn't have anything, but it looks like a book. We have blue, red, green, so on, so on. And then we have down here on the bottom another featured application. So let's look a little bit closer at what we've got going on. Click on apps. And let's bring up the old market click on apps so both look a lot like the main page now here it just goes straight into apps that are featured um, you know obviously we have this is a featured games list staff picks different sizes um, editor's choice Verizon to take place at that Verizon tab that we saw on the home page of the old app and then some more on the bottom there that are featured a lot different than the main app page on the old, you know, it just went straight into the categories. But if you miss those categories, have no fear, because as you see up, up top, it says categories, just a little swipe action to the right, and our categories are still intact just as we remember them. And you can click on one, and when you go into the category, you'll see we have featured, top paid, top free. and. Uh, Kind of a similar layout to what we saw in the main application tab. Now let's go back, that's where we were, and we have some new options on the content that we see. Top paid, top free, top grossing, top new paid, and top new free, and trending. So it gives us a few more options on how to break this down uh, and how we want to look at it. <clears throat> let's go back okay hit the button takes us back to the main page of the market uh, if we click and go into an application we'll see that it is slightly different let's look at that one how about slightly different in the way it's laid out but it's really delivering the same information here we have you know an icon and the install button and same thing here but notice that bar doesn't go anywhere so and on the old version get my finger out of the way, it disappears. So if you're down here looking at all the content and you want to download, you have to scroll back up to the top. Whereas on this one, you don't have to. I don't know how many people are actually going to be all the way down here and they're going to say, I think I want to get this, and then realize they have to scroll all the way back up to the top and click install. I don't think that anybody's going to be playing this with this and say, you know, well, I, I don't have to scroll back up. So I, can, so I don't know if that's really going to make a big difference, but it's definitely good from a user perspective standpoint 
anything that makes it easier, makes it more delightful to use. So I think that's a good change. Um, as you can see now, you've got the description, um, which is similar. Uh, the more button, there's a more button here. Have a little bit more of the detailed information right under the icon for the application. Let's see. Uh, what's new? That's your uh, changes on updates. Reviews. Reviews. So nothing crazy. Related. Related. Developer information is above related, whereas on the old application, developer information is below related. That probably makes more sense. And then both end with market content. I think that the new version is obviously more pleasing to the eye, but I don't know that it will really make a difference to developers. You'd have a hard time getting me to believe that it's actually going to make people more likely to download an app or to pay for an app. So let's go back. Uh, you can look at games, and it's going to be similar. It doesn't have the same breakout of categories. You still just have you have top paid and top free. So it's not in there like the application. Now I can put this down because there's no books and movies to compare it to. So let's look at books. Now you see it's you know nothing crazy, just a slightly different look from going to the blue instead of green, and it'll be the same thing when we go to movies. It'll be red, and then you know new arrivals, top free, top selling, featured, and then categories. So nothing mind blowing there. We can look at a book, get information about the book, description, reviews. Notice that it's importing some reviews from outside. We have Goodreads, which is a separate website. I find it interesting that they chose to do that. Although, maybe that's on the Market app and I forgot about it. Uh, more by the author and then related. So, you know, nothing crazy going on. It's pretty much standard for the course. And then movies. Categories featured top rentals, new releases, nothing crazy again. Staff picks, so we've still got lists. It seems that they're really pushing lists because we're too dumb as people to figure out what we want. We need people to tell us. And then if you click on the one thing that I noticed in the movie section, you still do a share up here. Uh, you got synopsis, cast credits, reviews, related. The one thing that I noticed in movies that is not present in applications or anything that does like this, you can do a swipe. Well, how did I do it earlier? Maybe I just... Okay. Never mind. <laughs> uh, earlier, I thought that I did something with a swipe, and it appears that I probably just hit something. that took it to a preview on YouTube. Maybe it's because I was looking at a different movie. Okay, forget it. I stand corrected. There's something in here that will take you to look at a preview of the movie on YouTube. I don't know how I got there. Because the way I thought I did is obviously not it. So, there it is. It's the new market for the phone. Uh, I find it interesting that Google is maybe paying a little bit more attention to design as they mature. They are known for not being the most design-savvy company out there. Uh, but this, if we look a little bit closer at the tablet interface, while they don't look identical, um, it looks like they're getting big on the idea of big rectangles, pretty graphics, squares, I mean rectangles and squares, um, lines of color to kind of denote things. Um, you know, we still have we have books in blue here, and movies in red here. So that's similar. If we go back to apps, you know, it's it's got the categories and then the same areas on the tablet app. Um, editor's choice, top grossing, top new paid, top new free. So they're really playing catch up with the new market application for the phone to get it up to the same level as the tablet and the web interface and also maybe I'm just reading into it too much but you know going back to that the idea of a unified design for all of their services it doesn't look identical 
but we're familiar with Google having four colors that are the primary colors for the for the company and we're seeing this theme with the colors being used here and uh, I don't know something about the way this is laid out kind of reminds me of the interface for Google Plus so it's interesting to see a company like Google and their reputation for design doing some at least from my amateur perspective good work and there's the market application that I'm sure most of you are probably familiar with and uh, it really looks a lot like the tablet application so I'm not gonna bother going through all this you can look at it but there's your quick overview uh, I didn't mention in the beginning that the market is going to be in a phased rollout on devices with 2.2 or better or higher rather and uh, you should see it anytime whenever they push it down to you and if you don't want to wait you can download the APK directly sideload it and install it and go ahead and get a good look at it now and uh, if you do not have access to that APK I'm sure that we will have a link either underneath the video um, here on YouTube or somewhere on our website at channelandroid.com